welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're going to be doing a tips and tricks on Invisalign. Now, I have been with Invisalign for six months, so I did find a few things a bit helpful that I learned along the way. And if you are new to Invisalign or if you're thinking about getting Invisalign, then hopefully this video is great for you guys on just like learning a few things. So without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> I did have to write it down in here because it is a few things that I wanted to tell you guys. Okay, so first of all, we're going to start off with cleaning the trays. So there are a few ways of cleaning your trays. First off, try your best to like not stain them like I did because I drink a lot of coffee. I got coffee right here. Please don't try to stain them, but I do have a hack for that right now. I'll show you guys. So with cleaning your trays, I do have like three things you can use for, the, for cleaning your trays. The cleaning crystals that they give you definitely helps but i will say it's not one of the efficient ones that helps you they do come when you get the invisalign package so you can use that for the moment but it's just gonna you're gonna finish them right away just saying you know that right now you're gonna want to go to like target ralph's um rite aid cvs anywhere like that and get yourself some like i have polydents honestly you could just like get whatever whatever kind of like retainer slash denture it doesn't really matter it's gonna clean them and it works the same as just like the cleaning crystals so you're fine with that so if you like the clean crystals you could go ahead and ask your dentist if they're willing to give you more but i think you do have to pay for them i'm not entirely sure but these are a lot cheaper i got the cheapest ones and they work really well they don't really like say if you drink coffee with them with the straw or you just like sip it these are going to keep the stains they're not going to get rid of the stains so what i like to do i like to use mouthwash for it and just like let it sit there probably when i'm like when i'm not using it like when i'm eating it's just once a day once a day just once a day five ten minutes don't use like the colored ones use a clear one that is meant for whitening your teeth because it's going to take out all the stains that's literally what it's meant for like it's going to get rid of the yellowness of coffee <laughs> colored one it's going to stain it and i don't think you want like purple i don't think you want purple retainers to be quite honest so don't do that the other one that i like to do is literally just like a toothbrush this is like it's like on a day-to-day -day basis you have to use your toothbrush and a little bit of toothpaste and just clean it around your retainers even though you brush your teeth before you put it on they're still gonna get some residue on the retainer so just do you just gotta clean that yeah you should be set they should be clean and not yellow yeah that is well, that's a few things that you could do for cleaning your retainers so what i like to do is i like to keep at least like two or three of my retainers like the pack retainers so i have my very first retainer but then also with your current retainer i like to keep two from the past if that makes any sense like i like to keep the one that i had before and the one before that one just in case something happens where like it breaks on you and you have to go back to the other one so your your dentist could actually get you new ones so the next thing you should be using is your munchie a lot of people don't like using this i don't know why but when you are switching trays this is going to help you a lot with your trays locking in place because sometimes you'll get scared if you see a little gap when you first switch it and you think like oh my god i need a revision or a refinement i keep saying revision <laughs> a refinement you might think you might you might think you need a refinement but honestly you just use this munchie and it's gonna just like have your teeth start moving and it's gonna cover up all those gaps and you're good to go so when i first switched trays for me at least i i used this for like the first week and then afterwards my teeth are already like locked in place and with the new one so i just have to make sure i wear it wear it most of the time please do not just like decide not to use this because you're gonna regret it okay so this is a question that i've actually gotten asked a few times in person or even online is that is invisalign actually invisible and I hate to break it to you guys, but it is not invisible. People can tell you're wearing Invisalign from a certain distance though. So if I was to be like this far away and wearing my Invisalign, I'm currently not wearing my Invisalign because I don't like wearing it when I'm filming. It is visible, especially if you have attachments because a lot of people think that it's just the retainer that you're wearing. But if you're just wearing a retainer, it's not going to really move a lot. So you do have to have attachments in order for the retainers to work. Depending on your treatment, you are going to have attachments. Some people have a lot. Some people don't even have any in the front and will have it on the sides. So it'll be a little bit easier for them to hide the fact that they have Invisalign. Especially now with everyone wearing masks, it's really hard for people to tell that you have Invisalign. So that doesn't really matter at the moment. But say in the past, I, that's so sad to say that in the past where people actually saw your face and your teeth <laughs> in the past though they will be able to see that you have attachments people can tell and then also it does have like a little glare when you're talking so it's gonna say in your household people are gonna be able to tell that you're wearing your invisalign especially with a list people are gonna notice right away <laughs> it's a lot better than braces though because honestly braces you're gonna tell that 
you have braces especially like the silver ones because i know there's like ceramic ones and then the plastic ones i think so i would say out of all of those the invisalign is the most invisible but it's not as invisible as you think it is another question can you chew gum no you want to know why it gets stuck so you can't chew gum whatsoever i tested this i was like no way is this actually going to like i tried gum with my retainers on and let me just say they got stuck everywhere and it's really hard to take it off too to be quite honest so instead of chewing gum and having them get stuck to your retainers i do recommend having little mints or you could have like those little strips like the listerine strips and have that as well mints are your new best friend if you use to chew gum next one is about drink like certain liquids i know they're gonna tell you this when you first get your invisalign about drinking liquids like you you are strictly only able to drink water and i will tell you guys from experience just drink the water just only drink water please <laughs> i don't think you're gonna want yellow retainers to be quite honest unless you don't care about them then go for it but honestly just just try not to drink coffee when you are wearing your retainers Okay, so this one, I actually recently asked my dentist if I could whiten my teeth because I actually was so unsure about whitening my teeth because I have the attachments because I was like, oh my god, if I whiten my teeth and they get super white, the attachment's gonna look yellow. But she said it's totally fine to be actually whitening your teeth. And she's like, you can just go to just go to Target and get some whitening strips. I'm just like, you don't have to tell me twice. I'll go ahead and do that. <laughs> as well as see 3d white so just stick with 3d white i like 3d white that's a good band okay so the next step that i have for you guys is actually for people who go out i don't know how many people are going out right now because we are still in quarantine i live in california so it's still a kind of quarantine here but i do go to work so this is helpful for people who go to work still i would recommend having a makeup bag or just like a little ziploc bag i would recommend taking your case in there because this is where you're going to want to put your invisalign at all times don't put it in a napkin please you're going to forget about it and throw it away what i also like to put in there is actually toothpaste and my toothbrush that's basically it that i would use i know a lot of people would probably want to put in like mouthwash and floss that's totally up to you if you want to do that but for me i'm just going to put in my case with Invisalign and the Chewy, the Munchie, and the toothpaste and the toothbrush, and that's basically it. You're all set right there. So the next tip that I have for you guys is when you are switching to a new tray. For me personally, I like to switch my new trays the day before, like the night before when I'm about to go to sleep. So I usually put my new trays on on Fridays. That's like the day I had to switch them. I would put them on the night before. So Thursday night is when I would switch my new trays. And like I said, I use my munchies to put them in place. But then say if you were to wake up and they still hurt, I honestly just recommend painkillers. That's literally the only thing that you could use if your teeth are hurting really badly is painkillers i use ibuprofen so whatever painkiller you use that's totally fine the pain in invisalign is not the pain that you think it is a lot of people have it differently but to be quite honest when i switch trades they're just like a soreness it's not really like a sharp pain it's just a sore pain because your teeth are slowly moving and you wake up and just like if you bite you could feel the soreness that's literally it for me i don't know about any anybody else i'm pretty sure some people have it worse than me because my my treatment is not as intense as others could be but yeah that's kind of it when it comes to switching trays just i like to put it on the night before i would use painkillers if my teeth are sore and they just bug me they do give me headaches sometimes when it's just super super sore because it's like tension in your head so yeah and then the, the chewy like i said the gaps will probably scare you but you're, you're not gonna need a refinement just like use your chewy you, use your munchie for like five minutes and you're good to go three times a day five minutes don't forget that okay so that's all the tips and tricks that i have for invisalign from what i've seen in the past videos of mine and i just like put them all together so if i did miss any like things that you want to know about please go ahead and comment them down below and i'll be happy to answer them for you guys that is basically it i hope this was very helpful for you guys if you are planning on getting invisalign or if you have invisalign like you just started invisalign and you need help with them i really hope this video did help you guys out so yeah that's the end of this video i hope you liked it if you did go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more of my videos go ahead and subscribe down below and then turn on those post notifications so you know when i upload and i'll see you guys on the next one Bye.